Okay, and this is the last part of uh, Investigation 9. I uh, couldn't fit it all in on the first uh, video, so this is the very last page. It talks about an inverse proportion and what the graph looks like for that. So the graph is a curve. Um, it does not include the origin, and it does not intercept an axis. means it doesn't cross the x or the y axis. Um, it includes uh, points in the third quadrant, so this is 1, 2, 3, 4. So this quadrant. Um, and then we kind of start something a little bit new. It says work problems are also functions. Uh, work problems talk about person hours or person days. So a person hour is one person working one hour. Uh, projects need a certain number of person hours of labor to complete, and this is a constant in the equation. Um, this is a lot of math speak. Let's get down to what it actually looks like. So for example, it'll take 48 person hours for the whole, to roof the whole house. Um, it will take two people 24 hours, so 2 times 24 is 48. How, m how long will it take three people, right? So if it takes two people 24 hours, then it's going to take three people, I don't know, and then you solve for that many hours, okay? Um, so the solution to this equation is going to be 48 hours because whatever we multiply by over here, it's going to take 48 person hours to roof that house, however many people we have. So you have an opportunity to practice that here. Three people, eight days, so three times eight. Uh, three times eight is equal to how many people for two days? And you're going to solve for n. Okay? We can use inverse variation. This is interesting. This is about multiplying mentally. So the very last problem on this says, to double 25, so then you get this number, and then you take half of um, this, uh, and then you multiply the product. I'm not really exactly sure how that's easier, but they're trying to show that you can do this stuff in your head. So that's the end of Investigation 9. Please let me know if you have any questions. Have a great day.